Hey guys, this is Cody back once again, and um, tonight I'm going to be showing off one of my favorite uh, revolver magazines that I have in my collection. As you guys know, I did a video where I showed off my entire revolver magazine collection. Well, I decided to take out a couple of a uh, couple of my favorite issues in my collection and basically do full overview over reviews of them, where I basically uh, go through each page, talk a bit about you know what the uh, issues talk about and things like that. So for the first issue that I decided to pick, um, I decided to choose my first one that one of the first ones that I bought, and probably my favorite Revolver magazine issue, and that is the Avenged Sevenfold, the Special Collectors issue, um, which was actually released a short time after the death of uh, the Jimmy the Ref Sullivan, the drummer, and um, yeah, like I said, just a really amazing amazing issue, a great tribute to him. So um. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just uh, get started. First off, as you can see, a great picture of the band right here on the front. There's the remaining four members of it. And the top says Event Sevenfold right there, Revolver Magazine. And then right here, if, it, uh, if you can see it, there's actually a small little death bat right there in blue. Which is pretty small, but right there. Which I thought was a nice little touch. And then it says uh, Special Collector's Issue. And then uh, right here, I'll go ahead and read what it says. It says, a world, exclu world exclusive, their whole story in their own words. And then it says, the Rev remembered. And, um, you know, it talks about a bit of the contents, including his parents speak, um, never, never seen photos, classic interviews, as well as uh, inside their crushing new album, which was Nightmare. It actually takes a bit of a behind-the-scenes look at the making of the album, uh, a fan tattoo gallery which is just pictures that the fans had brought in I had sent in of basically just tribute photos of the Rev and of a Vin Sevenfold. It also has a, some interviews of uh, Mike Portnoy who played on you know a Vin Sevenfold's uh, Nightmare album but um yeah that's the front of it right there really nice front. The back is just a bit of a advertisement for a video game. Um, I'm gonna I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about you know the uh, uh, pages that don't have anything to do with Event Sevenfold. I'm only gonna, you know, take a look at the ones that have like pictures of them and things like that. But this first uh, thing is just a bit of an advertisement for uh, Sensor Gates and Zacky Vengeance guitars from uh, Sector. I think that's how you pronounce it. You know, there's a uh, Zacky's a uh, Crack Mirror, and then Sins models right here. The black one is definitely my favorite one. He played a he played that one a lot on the uh, the Taste of Chaos tour, and the red and the white ones are both uh, limited editions, which is a really cool picture of them right there. Here's some advertisement. Like I said, not going to spend a lot of time showing off the advertisements. There's that right there. This is a Metal Blade TV, which I'm not I'm not uh, very familiar with, so I'll have to check them out. Um, there's a couple of bands on that label that uh, I've never heard of. Well, there's uh, As I Lay Dines on that label, and I've heard of them. This is the first page, basically, uh, which is basically the table of contents. And as you can see, there's great detail. Super nice. And then right here is uh, an older picture of uh, M Shadows. Now the first thing in it is a letter from the editor, who um, basically is him talking about of how um, in the past uh, Revolver Magazine or Revolver Magazine uh, Golden Gods Awards that they did, it was a special. They aired it in um, t sometime in 2009. And the Rev actually uh, got an award for, I think, Best Drummer. And um, for some reason, during the TV edit, that was actually edited out. And um, his parents actually came up on stage and, uh, you know, accepted the award for him. And unfortunately, it did not make it. And um, apparently, Revolver got a lot of complaints about that. Like, a lot of people were mad that he didn't do it. So basically, they, just, they mostly released this issue as a tribute to him. But they also wanted to... He also talks a bit about, you know, of how that he was sorry that that part of that the part of the show was cut out on the TV version of it. But um, I'm sure you can see I'm sure you can see it on YouTube. And now right here is a 
It says right there, it says the book of A7X. It's really nice. Strength of the world. Then right here it says, in their own words, the tragedy and triumph of five friends forever. 1999 to 2010. There's uh, M Shadows right here. And here's the other band members. Of course, uh, Sensor Gates. Zachy V, Johnny Christ. Really nice pictures. And here's a, an older picture of them during the uh, Sound into Seven Trumpet era. I love that picture. It's one of my favorite ones. The older band. Chapter One, uh, We Come Out Tonight. Which is a really good song. And then like I said, it's just basically pictures of the entire, you know, throughout their entire career. There's them performing at uh, Chain Reaction, which was an old, uh, an old club that they used to play at. And here's some older pictures of, you know, them. There's Sin and the Rev. And there's uh, the Reverend with his uh, older band. And there's a picture of them all. Uh, this picture also has uh, the original bass player. I think it's the original bass player. Um... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the original bass player it's right here. I couldn't remember if that was uh, the original one or the, uh, the one that came to replace him. I knew that, yeah. Then um, there's some clips, some pics right here. There's Zachy. Then, of course, we have Johnny Sin. Him Shadows. Yeah. And then this is basically them talking about signing to Seven Trumpet. And like I said, they basically tell their entire story. And there's interviews from each band member, band member talking about the album. So this is the signing to Seven Trumpet era. More pictures of them all. I like the way, uh, I like Johnny's, Johnny Christ's hair like that. I don't know why. But yeah, this was back when they were sort of doing their sort of emo thing where they were wearing makeup most of the time. Which, you know, I thought it was cool for back when, you know, they were, when they were still considered, you know, hardcore. Um, you know, there's Awaken the Fallen, one of my favorite albums that they put out. There's them on tour during a Warp Tour. And they talk a lot about it. They're... Sin, and as you can see, if you look closely, there's like makeup flowing on his face. That's the only problem I think that they'd probably have is having you know makeup running running your eyes because you're so sweaty. I bet that'd be a but that was difficult for him. There's M shadows, and then there's him. There's a statement of him talking about getting um you know moved up on Warp Tour every year before the recognition was coming. Chapter two. Seize the day, and then there's a really awesome pick. I like the way the Rev is dressed in this one. And they got this girl on chains, which is really really cool. Lots of real, lots of really really great pictures, like I said. And there's them once again. And in this section, they're talking about City of Evil. There's them in the studio recording. Sin backstage. Them performing live. And that's them talking about Event Sevenfold. There's them live. That's a really awesome picture right there. Some more pictures. Sorry about the glare. That was them recording, I think, the uh, Bees in the Harlot video. There's them performing on the Taste of Chaos tour. And there's a picture of the Rev shortly before he passed away. Chapter 3 Afterlife.
there's another picture that's kind of like the one on the front. They're that, and basically all the rest of them is the rest of this is basically them talking about the rev, and you know. There's one picture of the Rev playing piano. That was uh, taking a short time before he passed away. And then this is them uh, doing Nightmare, or the Nightmare music video, which is really nice. Their Nightmare. And then there's a picture of all of them with Mike Portnoy. And then this is a short little uh, interview with Mike Portnoy talking about him recording with Avenged. There's Zach of a skeleton during a Nightmare video. And then here's a little tattoo that uh, M. Shadows has on his hand of the Rev. It's a painting of Jimmy right there. Really, really cool painting. And the next one, the next section is called Warnus on His Soul. And it's basically just uh, the Reverend's parents being interviewed about him. And there's tons of pictures. I'm going to try and go through these a bit faster now. There's just so many. You know, just family pictures and things like that. Sorry about how blurry the it is. Alright. There's more. There's a picture of his parents accepting the award for best drummer. And there's uh, Jimmy and his dad walking away after a show. Little piece of heaven. This is an interview that uh, I think Modern Drummer did on the Rev. That's a cool picture of him. There's him with... Uh, the band with Vinnie Paul. The rest of this is just advertising and stuff. And then this is them doing the uh, Beast and Harley video right there. Awesome pics, like I said. And this is just an advertisement for the uh, deluxe box set that has like all the all the issues or all the additions with uh, the different covers. And it also comes with a double-sided poster. And then this is uh, M. Shadows interviewing uh, Metallica's James Hetfield and Lars Ulrich. Which is pretty cool. Having one of your favorite bands interview uh, one of your other favorite bands. Metallica are amazing. More advertisement, and then this is interviews with uh, Sin and Zacky for a uh, Guitar World magazine. And these are tons of just outtake pictures right there. There's so many of them, and they're all so small. But sections called "Burn It Down." There's a Rev, Johnny, Matt. And I think this is the last pick of them right there. They're nice and black and white. Sin. Zacky. And the last picture is just a fan tattoos, tribute tattoos for the Rev and Event Sevenfold. Which are all very, very cool. That one says the Rev and Yeah. I like that one the best. That one's got chain says the Rev and it's the date he was born, date he, day he died. Uh, yeah, well that's pretty much it, guys. I know I went through this kind of fast, but there was just so much stuff to show off. But anyway, guys, that was the Event Sevenfold, the Revolver Magazine Special Collector's issue. Um, feel free to let me know what you guys think about this issue. If you're fans of Event Sevenfold. Please let me know what you guys uh, think of this issue. And um, I'm pretty sure if you are fans of A7X, then you probably already had this issue. But please let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know if you guys are going to pick this one up. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. 
And um, yeah, really great issue. So yeah, um, like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll see everybody next time.